an amazing scientist with an incredible human touch. I view Gianni Bonadonna really as a visionary. He's passionate about making uh, life better for patients. Gianni Bonadonna was a pioneer in the field of cancer care and cancer research. Tremendous personal charisma, tremendous intelligence, uh, and tremendous humanity as well. He's really one of the giants uh, among uh, the people of my generation. One of the most highly decorated medical oncologists of our time, Dr. Gianni Bonadonna, has left an indelible mark on cancer medicine. This scientist and patient-focused practitioner is responsible for remarkable breakthroughs in the treatment of breast cancer and Hodgkin's disease. His long and distinguished career, much of it spent at the renowned Istituto Nazionale Tumori in Milan, has been driven by a passion and perseverance for improving outcomes and bettering patients' lives. For women with breast cancer, he helped to change the landscape of how we treat those women. He was one of the individuals who was influential, who was instrumental in providing evidence about the role of chemotherapy as a means of trying to prevent breast cancer recurrences in the many women who are present with early stage breast cancer. It's because of the types of trials that he performed that we have much of what we do in standard practice for breast cancer today. At a time when oncology was largely in the hands of uh, surgeons, uh, he managed to develop some of the critical concepts that today lead the field of oncology. He was always devoted to advance medicine, to advance the knowledge, but also always being in contact uh, with the patient from a human perspective. In 1972, Gianni Bonadonna got backing to conduct the historic adjuvant trials with the chemotherapy drug regimen CMF, or cyclophosphamide methotrexate fluorouracil. The surgeons were reluctant at the very beginning, but later on when we released the five and then obviously the ten-year results, well, they did understand that not all of the patients presenting with uh, local uh, early breast cancer can be cured by surgery. Investigators like Dr. Bonadonna uh, and, and Dr. Fisher uh, in the NSABP represented heroic figures for us. Uh, the, the men who had shown for the very first time uh, that by the use of this adjuvant therapy, we could significantly alter the natural course of breast cancer and gave us perhaps for the first time a real belief that we might eventually cure the disease. In 1972, Bonadonna's team developed the combination therapy regimen ABVD for Hodgkin's disease. I remember very well the day when the ABVD cocktail was discussed. We didn't realize that it would be so important for the future of oncology. Today's ABVD, in spite of being developed more than 30 years ago, is still uh, the mm, treatment of choice in Hodgkin's disease. Dr. Bonadonna's insights and research have changed the way cancer is treated the world over. His optimism and enthusiasm have driven the field. His research uh, and your personal discussions with him when you speak to him are always about the future, are always about where we're going next, about how we can take our best today and make it better for our patients tomorrow. If you look at the history of oncology, you can see there are a few individuals who have made really a tremendous difference, not only by their individual work, uh, but by the, the mood that they set by their work and also by the people that they train. And Johnny is such a person. And you have truly a special individual who's had an enormous impact and will continue to have enormous impact as long as we march toward the cure for cancer.